The two mile run measures your aerobic fitness and endurance of the leg muscles. You must complete the run without any physical help. At the start, all soldiers will line up behind the starting line. On the command go, the clock will start. You will begin running at your own pace. To run the required two miles, you must complete the required two mile distance, one mile out and one mile back in. You are being tested on your ability to complete the two mile course in the shortest time possible. Although walking is authorized, it is strongly discouraged. If you are physically helped in any way, for example, pulled, pushed, picked up, or carried, or leave the designated running course for any reason, the event will be terminated. It is legal to pace a soldier during the two mile run as long as there is no physical contact with the paced soldier and it does not physically hinder other soldiers taking the test. The practice of running ahead of, alongside of, or behind the tested soldier while serving as a pacer is permitted. Cheering or calling out the elapsed time is also permitted. The number on your chest is for identification. You must make sure it is visible at all time. Turn in your number when you finish the run and go to the area designated for recovery. Do not stay near the score or the finish line as this may interfere with testing. The 2.5 mile walk measures cardio respiratory fitness and leg muscular endurance. On the command go, the clock will start and you will begin walking at your own pace. You must complete one and a quarter mile out, and one and a quarter mile back in. One foot must be in contact with the ground at all times. If you break into a running stride at any time or have both feet off the ground at the same time, your performance in the event will be terminated. You will be scored on your ability to complete the 2.5 mile course in a time equal to or less than that listed on your age and gender. Do you have any questions?